The future of foldable phones is going to be wild. And now we have one of those examples, thanks to a patent from Samsung. Hi, welcome to Z Gadget Review. Samsung currently sits at the top when it comes to foldable devices. Right now, there isn't any other manufacturers that can really compete with the C Fold and the C Flip devices from Samsung. Of course, we have heard word from Google that at one point they're going to come out with their own foldable device. Well, not word from Google, but rumors about Google coming out with their own foldable device. Apple is supposed to come out with their own foldable device. We have Microsoft trying to make inroads in the foldable device realm with their foldable Surface phone. We have TCL showing off their concepts for what their foldable devices might look like. So there is competition coming out that is going to try to take that crown from Samsung. Of course, Samsung isn't going to sit around waiting for that to happen. And so they continue to file patents on devices that one day might actually make it to market. Case in point is this latest patent that has been confirmed about this weird foldable phone that only has what we can call a wing that falls out of the device. Now you might not remember, but there were leaks of patents that Samsung had filed a couple of months ago. And I did a video on those, which you can see here or in the description section. At the time, we only had the uh, drawings of what the device might look like. But now thanks to Let's Go Digital, we have renders of what the device might actually look like, giving us a better idea of what uses can exist for this device and also if it's something that will be useful or not. So as we can see here, we have the early drawings of what the device might look like. You have what the phone might look like closed and we have that camera array that has become synonymous with Samsung nowadays. And then it envisions how one side of the screen will pop out so you could have a wider screen on the top and a smaller screen on the bottom. As you can see on this drawing, this also shows what a selfie will look like using that selfie camera to capture you and everything else that might be in the background. So it allows you to get kind of a wider view of what the viewfinder is seeing when you're taking that selfie picture. After that, we can see what the device will look like close. So that is, one of the things that reminds me of the LG Wing, rest in peace, and where the LG Wing might have failed, this might succeed. I don't know, I'm kind of torn about this. But let's take a look at what the renders from Let's Go Digital look like. So as we can see on this render, we have an idea of what the phone looks like closed and with that screen side open. On this other one, same concept, but these are laying down. And as you can see, we have what technically will be an AMOLED or OLED screen that wraps around the top part of the device. And this will allows you technically to have two different views of what you can do with the phone. So on the top, if you use the back camera, you could technically use the back camera as a selfie camera by having those that screen on that side. And then here we have another view of what they think the camera array is going to look like. Of course, we've seen this camera array before when it comes to Samsung devices. So I don't think there will be anything new on that department. Of course, this one factor, it is, reminiscent of the LG Wing. But the big issue with the LG Wing was that because it had a screen on the top that had a hinge that flipped out, it made the phone thicker than otherwise would have been. Other than that, the mechanism of uh, that, that wing coming out of the device also is something that could have broken easily and maybe stopped working as intended with many uses. I think that the LG Wing was an interesting concept, but it had a lot of things that I don't think were very thought out. And that's, of course, something that Samsung doesn't usually do. Samsung is usually pretty good about their engineering and the different things that might go wrong with the device, which is one of the reasons why Samsung is currently the leader when it comes to foldable devices. And I think that this will work in two ways for the market. One, they could have a foldable phone that's cheaper than the flip and the fold. 
you could have a foldable device for people that are who don't necessarily want to have a gigantic device like the C Fold, and they don't want something as small as the C Flip. So you will be able to target the customers that are in between those two camps with a device like this and the novelty of having a screen that pops up. Of course, the other useful things, if we can call it that, when you are multitasking, you could be watching a video on the top of the device when the phone is completely open, while you have access to other things at the bottom of the phone, especially with the new Google 12L that's supposed to be launching later in 2022 with design on Android specifically for foldable devices. I'm going to be doing a video on that soon, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. This, you know, opens up possibilities that otherwise aren't there right now. And at the same time, it doesn't push people into something that they might not necessarily be ready for. Of course, this is a pattern of a device that I might actually never make it to market because as usual with patents, companies usually file patents just in case they decide to make a device that looks like the pattern that they file or if a device is made by someone else that comes close to the device that this company filed the patent for where they can actually get royalties or completely shut down the device from coming out. So. There are many reasons why companies do patents, but I actually like seeing how companies are innovating, what companies are thinking of when it comes to devices that we might one day use or we might never actually get to see in real life. A la, you know, LG rollable phone that had an early death due to LG exiting the mobile business. What do you think about these crazy patterns? Would you like to see a phone from Samsung that actually looks like this, that actually has this functionality? Or do you think that it's more novelty than usefulness? Let me know in the comment section. That's it for me. Go ahead and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Go ahead and hit that bell so you can be alerted every time we have new videos. Thank you very much for watching and again make sure you hit that subscribe button helps out the channel very very much bye